even at the height of its power, the mighty Roman Empire could not stare down a collapsing economy and a burgeoning military empire. And if history uh, repeats itself, as we hear so often, the so-called American Empire may be facing the same kind of collapse. In fact, David Walker, who is the Comptroller General of the United States, believes things are perilous. And let me quote from his statement. He says, there are striking similarities between America's current situation and the factors that brought down Rome, including declining moral values and political civility at home, an overconfident and overextended mil military in foreign lands, and financial irresponsibility by the central government. And this doesn't take into account all the other debt we own, including uh, the huge coming health care costs for this country. In fact, the United States government is facing an $8 trillion national deficit, and by the year 2010, it's expected to rise to $11.2 trillion. Perhaps the most crippling element in our burgeoning national debt is the so-called global war on terrorism. In fact, there are 2.5 million military personnel spread around the globe and at least 737 uh, military bases sprinkled around the globe in some 130 countries. These are the bases we know about. We don't know about all of them. Some of them are secretive bases. Even more astonishing is how these bases are configured. Some of them are many cities with swimming pools, spas, street names, which costs and obviously costs millions of dollars upon millions of dollars to fund these bases around the world. Such extravagant displays of military power and military presence obviously costs uh, a lot of taxpayer money. Indeed, like the Romans before us, we may be facing a global collapse based on the fact that we can no longer fund such massive operations. In fact, the, the war in Iraq alone uh, in, in several years may reach $1 trillion, just the cost of fighting that war. $1 trillion. It's not only the cost of operating the worldwide military uh, establishment, it's also some of the mind-boggling sure waste of money. For example, we recently found out just to ship two washers, uh, a company in South Carolina charged the Pentagon almost $1 million. To maintain their power, the Roman Empire raped their subject countries, uh, crucified people, they were monsters, and they also heavily taxed the countries that they subjected. As Henry Kissinger has recognized, and he should know because he's been a close presidential advisor for many years, such empires eventually create incredible resistance. Uh, the Romans faced revolt, and now we see uh, that the so-called American empire uh, is facing resistance in the form of terrorism and from insurgents. Simply put, we're repeating Rome's mistake.